Bloomberg International, CNBC, and various print publications. And I have Sean here to speak a little bit to you guys. Welcome, Sean. Thank you. How's everybody doing today? Right. Oh, great. great, just great. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. I'll get better. <laughs> yeah. So, Charter, you're the only guy that actually have a shirt for you today. Because I found one shirt left that's a double X and it will fit you. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, reminded me of a guy who's going to football league. He was a guy at high at the bar. <laughs> so, first of all, as Heather said, my name is Sean Shallows. I am not an alcoholic today. Um, I am a retired realtor after 25 years. I actually was just like you. I'm an investor. I've been a realtor. And by the way, like when I want to, I want to go back to what they just said about the team leader. Anybody hear what they said about the market? Which way is it going? Yeah. Down. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It is what it is. <laughs> I love that answer. Yes. Why? So when I met my brother, my brother is a uh, my brother's a stockbroker on Wall Street, right? He's about eight or nine years older than me. He's kind of like a typical Jersey guy like me, right? He has a little bit of an edge to him. And at some point, he said to me, he goes, I don't care which way the market goes. I go, but you get paid if people buy stuff when they're happy. He goes, yeah, yeah. He said, but I don't get paid if the market just stays flat. He goes, I am a, I am a mortgage, I am like a, I'm a mortgage broker. He was a stock broker. You're real estate brokers. What do brokers do? They don't care if the market goes straight up or straight down as long as it moves. When do people make decisions? Anybody know? When they have to. How about this? Um, anybody ever heard of Michael Vance? So Michael Vance is well, a matter of fact, I think Scott may have been in the room when we met him. Um, you know, thank God. By the way, everybody, thank Scott for having lunch today. Because if it wasn't for him, we would not have had lunch because it would have ended up in your office down in Wildwood Crest. <laughs> so anyway, um, Michael Vance, you may not know who he is now, but after this meeting, you'll know who he is. He was actually the guy who put the sound of the rock in It's a Small World. He was Walt Disney's creative director. He was Steve Jobs' mentor. So, when, when Michael said, hey, you know, tell us about excitement and all that stuff, you know, that's easy. He goes, try getting on the Matterhorn for the maiden voyage. Walt Disney, his brother, Michael Vance. Guess who's behind Michael Vance for the maiden voyage? Mother Teresa. He goes, when you're going up on an F on the on the roller coaster, Mother Teresa going by, this is really beautiful. Oh my god. And then all of a sudden we got to the crest of it. We started going down, Mother Teresa screaming and hollering and holding me tight and going, Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> Mother Teresa made a decision. She was excited. <laughs> by the way, 2008, 2009, 2007? Scott and I were in a bar in California, 3 o'clock in the morning, drinking Red Bulls and vodka. How old man? Yeah! 2009, I was looking at my daughter's crib. One kid, one on the way. I was making $80,000. Next morning, I woke up, I was making eight. Market went down 47% in six months. 47% in six months. What did they just say up here? Who was listening? 33%. 33%. Guess what? I got a little help. I can actually help you. That's almost a benefit to where I was. By the way, when it went down 47%, what do you think happened to prices? They went down 46%. Guess what? Close. But here's the funny thing. I had great coaches and mentors. Anybody had that? Anybody heard of Tony DeSello? Anybody heard Diana Kokoska? Guess what? Her significant other, her husband. He was my coach, 2008. Sean, let me interrupt real quick. Diana Kokoska founded Bold. So yeah, by the, way, she, by the way, unless you're not wondering, all the stuff on your walls and all the senior management in your company, Diana Kokoska, if you don't know her, you should go find out her. You should go research her. She is one of the foreign family people that teaches the education for Max Coaching. By the way, we had a conversation this morning. Right? Yep. If you're not familiar with Jim and you're not familiar with Linda, you should thank them. Because Linda, what did we talk about when Jim said, hey, you might want to consider bold? What did you say? What did, say? What did you say? I'll, I'll tell you what you said, because I said the back and listen. I said the back and listen. She said, no, I don't know if I want to know that. It's going to be like the other stuff. 
Yeah. And I saw in the back, like, I honestly oh, thought, that's what you were eating. I had to actually like, take my shoe. <laughs> and you have to figure out, I get passionate, I get excited, right? And I'm a typical Jersey kid. I had to actually take my shoe off and stick it in my mouth. Because I was sitting back there going, <laughs> because all I could think of is, I've been to seven bowls. Seven. How come? Well, by the way, 2008, 2009, market goes straight to zero. Guess what? I had the best year of my career. I did 165 units with me and three other guys. She was telling me that I'm an investor, I'm an invent, blah, 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 blah. Here's a simple answer. I'm a mortgage guy through and through. I am your business partner. I am going to be your secret weapon. I will give you an unfair advantage. Why? Because I've been through that market. I've been in the business since 1996. I've been through every market you can imagine, whether it's going straight up or straight down. Guess what? It doesn't matter. I don't care. I get excited either way. Here's the fun part. When I was doing it, I was doing it through the eyes of Anna Kokoska. I sat with her while she wrote the whole book in a mastermind group. She was with Tony DeSalle and they were married to two different people. That's how long ago it was. BC. You know what BC is? Anybody? Before color TV. <laughs> and before I had hair. So, real quick, how did I get myself out of 2008-2009? First thing I did, you guys, who saw it? Who saw the email? What is the topic? Fanatical four. Ladies and gentlemen, what are the fanatical four? I don't care if you're selling buggy whips, real estate, mortgages. What are the fanatical four? I'll give you the first one. How much? How many times? How many people? What's the fourth one? How often? No. no. How much you save? I wasn't listening. You're close. To this one. How much? How many times? How many people? How much you save? If you give me those four things, I could build any business anywhere, anytime, any planet. How come? Because I can back into what it's going to take for me to do it. Why do you think they harp on you to track your numbers? What's the hardest one? What's the hardest thing to do in your business? You think? You keep looking at me funny, so I'm going to ask you. <laughs> That's the number one objection you get on a daily basis in your business. You don't know. The interest rate to July. Okay, well, let me ask you a question. What's the one place that if I can change it, or if you could change your business? Anybody know? Everybody, how many people have read the book? The one thing. By the way, your founding fathers wrote the books. It's kind of like being in a religion and not being religious and reading the books. Get the real books. Go, go get, I mean, honest to God, you have a plethora of information in this organization. By the way, why am I so adamant about it? I was a guy who came out of the Army. I went in the Army with a purple wallet, checker sneakers. The guy literally pulled the car over at 5 o'clock in the morning and went to the CVS and bought a thick razor, came out with a pink thick razor, and shaved them all up off my head. I go, what are you doing? Do you think your kid is like slurper, dude? Right? <laughs> yeah. All right, except I grew up in Madison, New Jersey with OP shorts, chocolate sneakers. Right? In Madison, New Jersey, if you were anything less than the, you know, you know, Presbyterian kid, you yeah. know, mom, dad, the whole thing, right, right off the bus, yeah. I ended up in the Dean student's office the second day of school because I was from a divorced family. Not even kidding. Oh, my goodness. Right? I went in the Army. I was a ranger in the Army, Special Forces. Came out a little disciplined. We have 125 guys, 12 of us graduated. Why? Because my drill sergeant got in my face and told me, son, you will never graduate. You don't have what it takes. So every time I wanted to quit, what do you think happened? You heard that. You're, you're trying I didn't even hear it. I could see it. And the reason why is because he was like his size, except like this tall. So like in the army, they tell you to look straight ahead while he's looking at me right now. When I would look straight ahead, I could read his name tag. The problem is, on a military uniform, your name tag is here. I'm six foot. That meant that my drill sergeant was the largest man I've ever seen in my life. Because I didn't even have to tilt my head to see it. So, what does all this have to do with my real estate business? How much? How many times? How many people? How much am I going to put in my pocket? Where do you start? Number one, start with your coach and start with your numbers. Go see Jim. Go see Heather. Go see Melanie. I remember Melanie. Sort of a kid. <laughs> Broken heart. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. 
if I could give you one thing that was going to change your business today, what would be worth it? Yeah. Who's really, 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 who's the best in here at following up with their center of enforcement next customer? Anybody argue about the bet me? <laughs> Anybody? Come on. Come on. I'll give you a hundred bucks. I'm pretty good. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll so here's the bet. I'm going to tell you the bet. You're very good. I'm going to tell you the bet. I'm going to give 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 you the bet. I'm going to you can actually download that Excel file out of your phone where everybody you know that's ever been in your phone. And in most cases, if you use Google, it's going to pull in all the emails too. So what am I going to do with that, Sean? So here's the bet. If you're really, really, really good, and everybody you know knows you're in the real estate business, and you can't play this game because you told me yet, I told you earlier, and I said to you, give me your phone. And everybody that I call on your phone, that doesn't know you're in the real estate business, you pay me a hundred bucks. <laughs> How many calls can I make before I dial through your bank account? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to say that again. How many calls can I make before I dial through your bank account? So that means if there's more than 10 people, it's a thousand bucks. So when I play this game on my phone, I say, no, 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 you don't understand. I'm really good at this. I'm anal. He goes, okay, give me your phone. And he started making phone calls. And I was like, ooh. Yeah. So here's the funny thing. Everybody wants to go bigger, bigger, bigger. I need, I need a team. I need an expert. I need a, I need a buyer agent. I need, a, I, I need a, 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 a VA. I need an SA. God knows what. No, you don't. You need this thing in your pocket. This thing has more power than my first computer. By the way, my, my father-in-law created the floppy disk. He was on the team that created floppy disk. Guess what? The computer went in, couldn't fit in this room. And guess what? It had less, less, it had like three names. That thing forget it. Right? So here's what we're going to do. First and foremost, it's a brand new year. The market is going in the toilet, according to everybody. By the way, I decided to change, just like I decided to open my own company, guess what I opened my company? I wrote checks for 350 grand, 2007. 2008, guess what? The banker went, <laughs> And, and guess what? I was like with my coaches, Scott Remember, I was hard headed, the DA, you know, coolest leather jacket from New York, show up to the meeting. And but guess what? I was coachable. I fought. I had three coaches tell me, do not open an office. I didn't do it anyway. Next thing you know, I'm short selling three of my own houses out of ten. Guess what? People said, how'd you become a short seller? I said, short. You short sell for your own personal house. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know what to say, how to say, when to say, and you know what to talk about. So you become the expert. So, the riches, I said this to the ALC meeting, I'm going to say it to you. In a down market, the secret is the riches are in the niches. Number two, write this down. Figure out how many listings you need to sell a house. My number was 10. When I sold my company in 2009, I sold it to a big yellow company. My administrator had a deal with me. Guess what? I, I learned this from the guy in your office. His name is Jeffrey Quinn. I came down to North Jersey, go meet Jeffrey Quinn, me and my wife. Come down from vacation, knock on the door, and girl says, Oh, can't let you in. I go, It's like 11 45. She goes, If I let you in there, he'll fire me. I said, Okay, great. That's awesome. Do you know I left that office that, that afternoon? I called my assistant. I said, If you ever open my door again, I will fire you before 12 o'clock. Guess what? She's in the window doing jumping traps like this. I'm like, what the hell is going on? She goes, there's some guy out there. He's got like red hair. He pulled up in, in like a really cool car. I think he's really Jim White. We go, yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> right? So I threw, the, I threw the receiver, which was typical for me. Threw the receiver at the door. Like glass, you know. Pull the blind down. Get back on the phone. I come out. It was. I ultimately liquidated my company to why? So I had 110 listings. They thought I was a genius. No. I had one kid, one on the way. My income went from $80,000 to eight overnight. Guess what? I was doing whatever it took for me to survive. Now what I'm looking at is, I don't want to teach you how to survive in a down market. Guess what? 
I am Ed. Me and you are in the army. What's your name, son? Michael. Michael. It's snowing out. You're you are one of my compadres in the army. And it is snowing out, and there's a minefield between me and you. <laughs> well, I was kidding. Well, you snowing out. <laughs> so, and I say to Michael, I go, Michael, come on over here. Michael can see my footsteps in the snow. Do you think Michael makes his own footsteps, or is he walking my footsteps? He's walking your footsteps. We follow on yours. Right. The problem is, guess what? I did it. About halfway, halfway, halfway through, I go, dude, I got this. 2008. Dude, I got this. 2014. 2011. Here's the good news. There's just about nothing in this real bit, in the real estate business that can hurt you. I had a guy call me up one day. I was on the phone. I worked at Hoboken and he said, what are you? Where's your office? Oh my God, I'm going to come down here and kill you. I said, hey, great. That's <laughs> exciting. My wife was just talking to be excited. Um, I can't wait for you. Charter, come on down. I'm at 301 Madison Street on Main Street in Hoboken. Guess who was at 301 Main Street? I I got a text from my buddy, Charlie. Charlie was a line doctor of Head State. He was 6'8", about 270. And he sat in the window. And when the guy in the trunk came down the block, I went, oh shit. <laughs> and kept going. <laughs> so, I got two minutes and 44 seconds. I'm going to tell you this. If you go out here, I am not just a mor- I am not just a mortgage guy who brings cool food. Obviously, you get it. I'm just like you. I'm a little more animated, maybe. But if you're actually if you're actually asking for my help as a mortgage lender, do you think I can help your customers and you navigate any kind of market you want? Say yes. Yeah, yes. Can I get an amen or something stupid? Yeah. <laughs> if you go in your little packet, there is in here you can book a discovery call for me. What's a discovery call from? It's me and you having a conversation belly to belly to find out if we can work together. I don't know if I like you or you don't know if you like me, but I'm willing to help you. Guess what? These guys are here to help you. And she can actually tell you there's a reason why I stopped doing real estate. Did anybody tell you if I got animated? So here's the deal. If you need my help, I am excited to help you. I'm thank you for inviting me. You guys have the greatest senior management in the, in the industry. Use it. Have fun.